Okay, so here is my part two. I decided I'm probably just going to use this stupid thing. <laughs> um, it is slightly... Um, has a slight damage right here. It doesn't affect the unit at all. Um, I don't know if the handle is usually that loose. I don't think that that does anything. I think it's just a like a, an accessory of some kind. Um, and it's probably even replaceable except for the fact that it's on the main body of the machine. But this thing is so much sturdier than the um, DC-33 that I just got rid of. Um, but you can see this thing is brand new, never been used, never been turned on. Um, it's got a little bit of dust on it from where he had opened to see what the thing was. Um, you can see the turbo tool has never been used. It's just been sitting there and these things are gigantic. My, um, owner's manual, the Dissolve kit, and my floor tool, which I'm extremely excited to own, because, um, there, oh, because, oh, it's already got hair on it, just from me pushing it on the carpet just for a second, but it's just, this thing is so much, um, higher build quality compared to, um, the DC-65 I even have. So, this thing is on the slightly heavier side, but we will see what we managed to pull up out of my carpet. And even if this thing really is worth something, which I doubt it is, um, it is semi-marked um, on the top like I showed you. And I don't really sell anything. I've attempted to sell on Let Go, my Auric Touch before. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> so I've never sold anything before like that. I'd sold a car one time. So let's see if she powers on. She does. All right. So here we go. Wow. hard to push on this carpet.
so far, um, I would say that it does clean a lot better than I thought that it was going to. Um, a lot of people bash these machines, and it's honestly doing a pretty good job. Um, no, there isn't a whole lot of fine dust and dirt and grit and such, but um, my needle cleans every day. It cleaned yesterday, and I don't expect to get that much out, out of the carpet. But with my Kirby Avalier, I'm kind of hoping to get one of those dirt meters just for shits and giggles to see um, what kind of stuff I can pull out of the carpet. Now, this is the spare room. I don't have much high hopes for this performing on this carpet because of the suction and everything. Seems to be doing okay. So, overall, it's actually a pretty good machine. Um, we didn't pick up a whole lot, but it's definitely a neat machine to have. Now, since um, we're on the subject sort of, of picking up and such. The one thing I never liked about Dyson's was the, um, <sighs> was the, um, material they make the bins out of. I really wish they would have made the bins out of a stronger, heavier-duty plastic of some kind because the material that it's made out of scratches so bad and the machine looks like it's so used after such a short period of time. Um, but I'm going to be doing more videos with this. Please ask questions, comment anything and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. I'm usually pretty good about that. And um, let me know what you think. I think I did a pretty good job and I struck some gold here in my eyes. And um, just let me know what you guys think and like, comment, and subscribe.